Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Card Fight Vanguard Minerva Rising Booster Box opening. I've got not one, but four of the Minerva Rising Booster Box open. This is the latest Card Fight Vanguard Booster Set, with the chance to pull a serial number rare, which is Minerva herself, in a very uh, awesome numbered foil. I believe there's only a thousand, and even then, I believe that only 300 have been revealed for printing so far. They may reveal more later on with the release, but got most of the decks that I am building finished from the booster set as well. So just testing my luck, maybe I can pull some pretty good trade bait from the Minerva boxes. But let's go ahead and dive right in and see how we do. I don't know if they gave us any box topper promos or anything of the sort. I don't even recall if they did with the fifth card by Vanguard set. The triumphant return of the Twin Blades. The nope, it looks just like booster packs for the box. I even think we got like a marker the last time. Like maybe a little note marker, but I guess nothing this time around. Let's go ahead and see what we can get. Oh, starting off, we have a Silver Thorn Dragon, Luquier, and a Frame Rare, Ripening Dragon. So I believe the sneak packs might have been different. I don't think we got, you know, Frame Rares and triple rares in the same pack, but maybe they're trying to give us a foil per pack with this set. We have a Witch of Ravens, Chamomile, and Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom. So in that one, we got a double rare and a triple rare. I wonder if that normally means we're going to get something pretty good. We haven't pulled any rares yet either from two packs, but I'm not jumping the gun yet. Let's see how the rest of the packs will be. We have a Sublimate Lance Dragon, and we already got three triples out of the box, and the other one is Go Ahead Mikani for Chaos, the new Glitter Grade 1. So yeah, three packs and three triple rares already. Pretty crazy. Next pack. Am I going to get another triple rare now? We have Brick Gardner, and nope, a Bent Robust, the double rare for Brant Gates. this one we have universal angel nope oh, looks like two rares from that one i'm very curious of why they were you know placing triple rares and double rares and all that into the same packs the yeah it was the chamomile is a double rare i have to double check there for a second yeah, let's see what we get from this one is it another nope it is great sword of fierce black flame obscure die that's four triple rares from the left side already I mean, the right side's either going to have a double frame rare or something. Wheel Assault and Windstorm Monster Cyclogate. So frame rare and a double rare from that one. And last pack to the left side. This is only the first of four boxes also, don't forget. And the Minerva Order and Straw Winthos. So yeah, we're definitely still getting packs with two rares in each one. So I really don't know what their, you know, organization pattern is but we have judgment maelstrom and frying shot dragon from stego it's another two rare pack so it's like if you buy single packs then you'll either have that one very lucky pack or you'll pull two rares from a pack uh come on yeah or like that i think that's either four or five packs with just two rares in it definitely all over the place with ratios i think in set one you at least got a foil per pack but we have Static Crack Dragon for Dragon Empire, double rare. And is it two rares? Yep, Ripening and Cyclogade. These are two frame rares we pulled in the box already. Now we pulled them together as two rares in the same pack as well. And we have two rares again. With three packs remaining, I'm wondering, is that triple rare and double rare in a pack even going to mean anything or not? Let's see, we're winding down on packs, and we have another two rare pack. I think that's six. Six packs with just two rares in them. Next pack. And we have Night Sadie and Dark Magenta of Blooming Hatred. 
So that was another double rare. Let's see what this last pack gives us. And with our final pack, we end with another two rares. So yeah, we had just pulled from that first one the four triple rares immediately out of that box. And then we had one, two, three, four, five double rares and two frame rares. So let's see if that sticks to what the ratios will be for the remainder of the boxes. So on to box number two. Open the box. And if all I do is have this will dress advertisement. I destroy that pack. Let's see, is the left side our strong side again? Nope, we start with two rares for that one. Oh, nice. We have a Gradius Gradel. That's actually a very good double rare to pull. And a Hammer-Breaking hammer Knight Sadie. I believe this is the counter-charging double rare, so another good frame rare. Yeah, I don't know, but Gradius Gradel is definitely staple. You need them for some decks to run since it just acts as a Persona ride, but I think they actually made it a short print double rare as well. And two rares again. Oh, nope, that's Sublime right there. It's not the counter charge one. I was mistaking it, I believe, for another Catter Sanctuary unit. But still, no triple rares in the pack yet. We have Knight of Excision and Stealth Dragon Unprecedented for the Tamayura or Shoujo Doji deck. And it might be better in uh, Shoujo Doji just because the Tamayura deck is definitely filled with all the different Rirumis and Rarumis. Two rares. And that one. And we have Stealth Dragon, Jakumetsu Arcs. So another one of the Stealth Dragon units, but we've only pulled one triple rare, and I think this is our last pack from the left side. So let's see what we get. We have, oh, two. We have Graham Grace for Ketter Sanctuary and another Obscuidide. So we pulled a double rare and a triple rare from that pack. So three doubles and two triples out of the box so far. I'm not sure if you pull a double frame rare or a secret if it takes up a spot in the pack, but we have a go-ahead Makani. And oh, <laughs> nice. As I say it, we pull it a double frame rare title assault. Beautiful. That looks awesome. Look at that. We pulled a triple rare and a double frame rare from the same pack. Very, very awesome. Another go-ahead Makani. I think that actually makes my play set. And that looks great for the Maelstrom deck. Oops, as I drop it like a klutz, but I don't think I... Nope. All good there. Very, very nice. So we pulled a double frame rare from the second box. That's definitely very awesome. And let's see what I can get from the next pack. We got two rares from this one. As I pulled the double frame rare, that's where all the luck just stops from the pack now. Yep, we have Maelstrom to go with the Title Assault double frame rare we just pulled, because those of you that watched my sneak preview openings also saw I pulled a Seeker Rare Maelstrom, not to spoil, I won't show or give away what opening I opened it out of, but that's also, I believe, four triple rares pulled, so yep, the double frame rare, like I thought, doesn't take away for the triple rare spot in the box, but we still have a chance to pull another double rare, at least, I don't think you can pull anything else from a box, I may be wrong though if you've already pulled a secret. But here is a Witch of Ravens chamomile. So with two packs many, I believe we may have one frame rare and one double rare left. They might even be in the same pack. Yeah, look, that's two rares. So I've only pulled, yeah, one frame rare so far. And we have... From Stego and oh nope. So I guess the frame rare is taken up by the double frame rare, duh, obviously. And we have a uh, Silverthorn Breathing Dragon for our double rare. So 
but I'll take a double frame rare over a frame rare any day for sure. And we pulled a Gradius Gradel from the same box. So pretty awesome. And let's move on as I pick up some of the trash, moving that box out of the way to box number three. And we'll see how I do with this one. I carefully open the box, if I can carefully open the box. And staying with the same luck, let's go ahead and see how I do with this one. So starting off, we have a pink Moth Girl Maple, good triple rare for sure, the Figria deck with all the support, like all the other ones, getting a grade one version of Maple to call out onto the field. Just helps with the consistency of the deck for sure. We have Reception Monster, Wavy Loss, and Double Frame Rare, Stealth Dragon, Jakumetsu Arcs. So we're getting all the triple rares out of the way again from this box. We get another triple rare from this pack, let's see. We have Scarlet of Fluttering Evanescent Life, and yep, we have Silverthorn Rising Dragon. Three triple rares from three packs so far. Next one. Could we keep that lot going? There's a plant token, but nope. We end it with two rares. And still a good majority of the box to open. Like, we already got three triple rares and a double and a frame rare. I hope it's saving something big for us. Oh, we have a Peak Personage, Stealth Rogues Shoji Doji. So if you split this box with someone and you went for the left side, I'm saying you probably got the better deal because that should be all four triple rares pulled. Two rares. It means the person, if you just went split for split, they were getting nothing from the right side, or at least I hope not. But we have a Song of Extortment can be heard. Double rare order for Chaos. Here's the last pack. If this pack has a double frame rare or the serial number rare, I feel very, very bad for the person that would have opened the right side. Let's see. Uh, yep, we have a double rare and another frame rare. Look at that. Two and two. So from one side so far, we pulled four triple rares, three double rares, and the two frame rares. Is there even anything left on this right side? Let's see. We have two rares. All right, so let's say you were the person who split the right side. So now you're opening your packs and so far you've only pulled two rares and a Volcano Monster Gokaterra double rare. So, so far you're not really living up to the left side of the box. You gotta pull that serial number rare or double frame rare to make up for all your other pulls. We have Clear the World and Silverthorn Servants. see. Two rares again. Yep, not looking so good for the right side. <laughs> it's so one-sided with pulls. Like, really? And look at that. Two rares again. Give us something good. Come on. This person needs something. I guess a Graham Grace is better than nothing, but still, they've only pulled two foils from the right side with two packs remaining. This is looking like a two rare pack. All right, this is the last pack. Is this really gonna make up for what this person could have potentially pulled? I don't think so. And we end it with, look at that, just two rares. That's so one-sided of a box. We pulled the same ratios, I believe you could pull. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, the two frame rare, five double rare. But the good majority for that box was on <laughs> the left side. I'm, okay, we got one box left. Let's see if that trend continues with this final box. It's gonna be insane if that is the case or not, but let's see. And with the final box. All my luck towards a serial number rare Minerva. I really think I used up all my luck of what little luck I had left on that title assault double frame rare but let's see yeah all right so left side again starting strong with a maelstrom and a world is a blue research lab order for eva oh, 
commons getting stuck together. <laughs> Look at that. Regalia of Wisdom Angelica. Two triple rares out of the way, just like that. For this one as well. This is going to be a third triple rare. That's uh, They have to shuffle the packs better in their boxes. I feel like sometimes they get away with it, but then they just go right back to doing it again. Unprecedent. And the to the Shining Stage order for Roroa. Watch. Fourth triple rare right here. Because they don't... <laughs> Look at it. There it is. Obscure died. Four triple rares right at the beginning of the box. And then the right side probably not going to get anything. So if you are going after these boxes, go for the left side because they do not know how to shuffle up their pack. Sometimes they fix this solution. And I see like two triple rares on one side, two triple rares on the other. But it looks like for this time around, these boxes were definitely one-sided with their packs. And let's see here. We have... I oh, thought I felt something, but it felt like just common texture. A World is a Blue Research Lab, so we pulled the frame rare version and the double rare version. All right, last pack. At least it looks like we may get some more cards on the other side, but all the triple rares have been pulled. Unless we have a double frame rare on its way, we have two rares, both of them being the orders for Luquie and Minerva. And let's see. Two rares. And let's see here. Two rares again. Five, six packs remaining. And let's see, we have Magic Alteration Turnar and Hammer Breaking Knight Sadie. So the I believe we got that same frame rare from the first box. We should still have two double rares to pull as well, but two rares from this pack. So can we get some luck? Can we pull a, another double frame rare? Let's see, we have two rares. So it's looking like these last two packs. Oh, no, I have three. I miscounted, so let's see. Double rare. Yeah, if I see Tamayura in there with the rare Lillian. All right, so we're not out yet. We still have the one pack to pull. So we could potentially pull a double rare and one more higher rarity card. Nope, that all flew out the window with that last pack because it was two rares. All right, final pack. Let's see what we get. Is it going to be a double rare earlier on? Nope, we have a rare and a double rare Song of Extolment. So from four boxes, we did pull a double frame rare. Pretty awesome one of that. I am a big fan of Maelstrom, so that's very, very awesome. And I hope you all enjoyed the opening as well. I might pick up another box at Locals, so definitely look forward to that if they do get any in. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.